What's up, everybody? I'm Justin Maytag here with my brother, Matthew Maytag. Hey, hey, hey! And this is Room 51, where we talk all things board gaming. And today, we are doing a Speak Up Game of the Month for the month of April. So this is a game that we feel like doesn't get spoken about enough. It doesn't get enough love in the board gaming community. And this is one that we kind of want to bring back to the light. Maybe it did get love at one point, and now it just doesn't anymore. So now, we're trying to say, like, hey... This theme should be spoken about, at least more than it's already been. Yeah, right. maybe. So, Melissa, do you want to start us off? Sure. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, my pick of the month, it's a small little box game that I don't have with me, but I'm sure the picture will show up somewhere. <laughs> um, uh, I, we, I don't own the game, but it is super fun. It is Mystery of the Temples. I feel like this game, you don't hear about it. Like, ever. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> and um, I don't know why. I, I guess because it's so small and, like... Yeah. Anyway, what you are, you're curse breakers. Is the theme super there? No. It's more of a puzzly type of game. It's competitive. Uh, it goes up to, like, five players, I think. And you're, you're going around. It's a Rondell-style game. And you're picking up these gems. And then mm -hmm. you're ultimately trying to break the curse with the, the specific amount of uh, gems and the certain colors that you need right. in that order, right? Because you're placing it on your little mat in a specific order as well yeah. in order to break the curse. I find it super cool. It doesn't take very long. It takes about 45 minutes to play. Yeah. It's puzzly, but not too puzzly where it's like, oh my god, my brain, you know? Um, and then there's also like a little bit of special abilities that you could use and you could gain certain special abilities when you start breaking curses. Yeah. Um, and that's essentially it. That's what you're trying to do. And it's this fun little light puzzle solving game that yeah. is super portable. Yeah, I feel like I never saw any kind of marketing for this game. I don't know. I, for, it flew very under the radar, though, and I do agree it shouldn't have it. That is one that I've actually thought about since playing it. Yeah. I've only played it that one time, mm -hmm. so right there's a good sign. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, it has a really solid weight to it. There's, mm -hmm. It's a nice tightrope of it's the right amount of puzzly that you want from a game that size. It's, it's going to be very portable and everything, mm -hmm. so I feel like... It does its job really well. The artwork's really nice. The pieces yeah. and components and stuff. All of it's there. You're right. That is one that does that pretty overlooked. Yeah, it gets overlooked. I think it's the same makers of Hanamakoji. Yeah. I know it's at least the same publishers. I can't remember if it's the same designers. Oh, right. Um, but Hanamakoji gets a lot of love. Absolutely. But then all of their other ones just don't for some yeah. reason. And I like them a lot. But anyway, that's, that's my pick of the month. Yeah. Uh, Mystery of the Temples is right here. Is the game Shipwreck Arcana? It is this really interesting co-op game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice and puzzly. Where yeah, another puzzly game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and this one is where you have these two tiles in your hand and you're trying to help your teammates figure out what the uh, what one of your tiles is by playing your. So by playing the other tile onto the board face up and you're gonna have these different like cards that kind of say like all right if this and this is true you can play your tile here if this and this and yeah I kind of try to figure out like all right if I play this at this card what's gonna be the one that actually gives them the most information mm -hmm. about my other tile yeah and every single round presents like a new opportunity to figure out the mini puzzle, you know? You're, yeah. Every single round, it's like, okay, so how am I going to help them this time? How what? Yeah. How can they figure it out based off of all these different things that are out right now? What's the best way I can place this tile so that they understand, like, okay, Justin has a six. Because nice. that, like, all that kind of stuff, every single round presents that new puzzle, and I absolutely love that. It's pretty quick, and it's pretty difficult, uh, especially at higher player towns. So, and I love that from a co-op when it's pretty tricky. And, yeah, and it's not a long game. It sits 20 minutes on the box, and that's pretty accurate. Yeah, I'd say it takes probably no more than a half an hour, especially yeah. if everybody knows how to play the game. Yeah. Um, this one surprised me. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would, uh, because Shipwreck Arcana, yeah. I mean, that just <laughs> screams theme to me. I'm like, 
whoa but then it's not there's no theme here pretty it much, is pretty yeah. much abstract strategy yeah. but uh, <laughs> you do get special abilities when you do good things yeah you which do. is cool <laughs> yeah um, I mean like look at this box I love the box yeah. it's super clean and I love the look of it but I can also see it just being lost in the shuffle. Like, who Absolutely. is picking this up? Yeah. Especially if it's, like, on its side. Like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> this is a game that, like, you practically have to be recommended. I would yeah. totally be just Yeah, I, I would skip game. over it. I, yeah. I would not even look at it. It is kind of funny because a lot of our speed dubs, it's kind of like... I, I understand why it flew under the radar. Mm. You know, mm. all, it has these problems that cause it to fall under the radar or fly under the radar. Yeah. Uh, but... They're still good games, and it's like, hey, this is a cosmetic thing, you know? Yeah. Like, it, there's a good game in there, but as we've said before, the aesthetics, the cosmetics, they matter. They, they do. do, they do. But that's why we do Speak Up, Game of the Month. So thank you so much for watching and or listening. We just debuted our Discord, so you can go ahead and join our Discord community. It's super friendly. Uh, I think the Room 51 community is friendly as a whole, which Absolutely. is great. I love that. <laughs> Uh, check out our Twitch and our social media. We're everywhere, honestly. Yeah. Uh, you can check me out on the Dice Tower if you'd like. Yeah. That's fine, too. Um, but otherwise, this has been Room 51. Catch you next time.